Hey guys, what's going on? Will here from Gladiator Guns Training Group with Silencer Shop. I'm here to talk to you today about building out a suppressed AR-15 platform. America's rifle, the AR-15. Easy to shoot, reliable, and customizable. You can build these things however you want. That's why there's tens of millions of them across the country. The AR-15 isn't quite perfect. They're loud, they have recoil, and they can be gassy. If only there was an accessory that would solve all of these issues. Well, you know what? There is. It's called a suppressor. Yes, they're legal, and Silencer Shop makes that process super easy. I've used suppressors throughout my military career and every weekend when I train. About 25,000 rounds a year, and all of them are suppressed because tinnitus sucks. Thanks to the customization of ARs and the innovation in the suppressor world, there are now solutions to optimize America's rifle, specifically for suppression. High flow suppressors are a newer design that lowers the back pressure. They push more gas out the front of the barrel instead of back into your face. The other option is swapping out a few small parts to dial in your rifle for your specific suppressor. Let's talk about how an AR-15 works. You pull the trigger, the round explodes in the chamber, and the bullet goes downrange. The gas from the shot is directed through the gas port and gas tube and drives the bolt carrier backwards. Your buffer and spring push the bolt carrier forward so that you can send another round again. Our goal is to let just enough gas through the port so the gun works with 100% reliability, but doesn't have any excess gas coming back in your face. The JP gas block lets us restrict the gas flow just by tuning the set screw. There are a few great adjustable gas blocks on the market. Add one to your gun while you're waiting on your suppressor. Tuning your AR isn't all about gas blocks. It's about buffers. If you can keep your bolt locked in battery longer, more gas will flow out of the muzzle. That means less port noise directly next to your head. So how do we keep the bolt locked longer? Heavier buffers. We're using a JP silent capture spring. This lets us swap out springs to essentially add buffer weight and the guide rod gets rid of any twang noises when you shoot. We also went with the A5 buffer tube. It's a little bit longer than a standard carbine tube. The bolt has longer travel, making it a smoother shooting rifle. Aero Precision Pro BCG. 9310, which is harder than average. Nitride coating makes it easy to clean and runs well when dirty, which is important when shooting suppressed. The Radiant SD charger handle has vented cuts in it, which helps disperse any excess gas. It also has a raised lid to keep gas out of your eyes. Put them on all of your ARs and you can thank me later. That covers the parts and some of the science behind building the ultimate suppressed rifle. These are the tools needed to install these parts. Torque wrench, armor's wrench, a set of Allen keys for the small parts. Other optional items you might want to have on hand. Suppressor X, cleaner and solvent, we use that here at the shop. And you might want to use some iPro for the installation process. We have a full blog post that goes into all the details of how to build out your total rifle from start to finish. All we're going to focus on right now is building out the suppressor related parts. The A5 buffer tube. We've torqued ours to 40 foot pounds of torque. Consult your manufacturer's instructions to figure out what your torque spec should be the JP Silent Capture Spring. Tune it to the perfect buffer weight that you desire. We've opted for the green spring, which is equivalent to a H2 buffer, and you install these just like you would do any other buffer. Now that the lower is all built out, let's focus on the upper. When installing the JP adjustable gas block, ensure you have proper gas port alignment. The gas tube should bend upward in the proper orientation. The Aero Precision BCG and Radiant SD charger handle, a good addition to any rifle. Silenced or not, now you're gonna install your preferred muzzle device. Refer to our muzzle device blog for any assistance you may need. There are tons of great QD systems on the market. We went with the Otter Creek Lab ZRO. Director amount saves weight and length, increases blast chamber volume, and can increase sound performance. A few simple accessories made this rifle complete. Armageddon gear suppressor cover, B5 stock, a Vortex holographic optic, a Surefire Scout light with air socket mount, and a black collar arms hand grip. Our rifle's built out. Now, see how this thing performs. We're gonna shoot it unsuppressed. Pay attention to the ejection pattern and the recoil impulse. We've attached the suppressor to our build. Let's take a couple shots and see how it feels. A much better shooting experience. Ejection pattern was perfect to a clock. The sound, I don't really need these ears. No gas to my face. There was barely any muzzle rise or any muzzle flip. 
So now that you've seen how our specific setup works, let's check out another cam. This is a multi-cal suppressor. You can run rifles up to nine millimeter pistols. This is a great option for a new suppressor owner because it can handle just about anything you have in your safe. Let's tune this rifle with a specific cam. Tightening the screw lowers the amount of gas. Loosening the screw increases the amount of gas. Make sure you lock down the set screw in the front. Here we have a stock rifle with the same suppressor that we've been shooting already. But we wanted to show the suppressors work straight out of the box. Shoot and suppress is great. So how do you select the right suppressor? Check out our blog on how to choose the right suppressor for your needs. I need something that's durable, something that's full auto rated. For you, that might be a little bit different, especially if you're a hunter. Silencer Shop has a wide selection to fit my needs, hunter's needs, and everybody else in between. For even more suppressor information and other great builds, check out our social media channels. We're always around to answer any questions or just chat about silencers. Now get out there and go shoot suppressed. <laughs>